original impetus for Encore came from the Arlington County Public Schools, the Adult Learning Division. I was the director of career technical and adult education for the Arlington School System. And one of my best friends was superintendent, Rob Smith. When John Sprott went to the superintendent to approach him about support from the Arlington School System to form senior adult college level courses that later became Encore. Rob sent him over to me and John, bless his heart, he sat through hours of committee meetings debating what do we want to call it, how long should it be, what should we charge, and John was the key I think. We gave him office space and computers and everything you need to start an organization. The schools started us with a little cubicle in Mike Morton's shop. We had just a little desk there and kind of had to take turns occupying it to answer the phone and so forth. Things were a lot different when we began Encore Learning because for one thing it was called Arlington Learning and Retirement Institute. We had a hastily selected icon, which was a lamp with the flame in the wrong place. When we started, it was really an all-volunteer agency. The first year, we were thinking maybe we could get 60 or 70 members. First semester, I think we had like 120 members right off the bat. Art Gosling, the next president, was key as well. As important as his contribution was, his wife, Carolyn, was equally important. She was an early member of the board, and for a while before we had any professional staff, she was the professional staff uncompensated. When I retired, there was an article in the local paper about this new organization, the Arlington Learning and Retirement Institute. And I used to say we should be called the Department Store School because we had our offices in the former Sears building. Well, I joined Encore right at the beginning, and I was recruited by John McCracken, who had the original inspiration for the organization. From what John Sprott told me, uh, McCracken had tried a couple of times before to form this kind of an institute and had not succeeded. So this time, I think John got involved, Jerry Greenwald and Doug first, and they got a good core of people who made it happen. I was just uh, retiring from uh, being on the faculty at George Mason University, and there we were, uh, six or seven of us sitting around talking about it, but none of us had ever actually gone out to raise money for a startup group and none of the uh, philanthropic organizations in Arlington gave us a cent. They didn't think we could make a go of it. And said John McCracken, he got out $1,000 from his pocket and said, I'll start us off. And so that's how we got our original pencils and paper. When you retire from work, the one thing that I missed was daily contact with, with uh, fellow employees. So. Encore really filled that niche. When you're leaving a job and you're going over this cliff of retirement, it's nice to look forward to, you know, something to do, ways to meet people in the community. Some of us thought that the Arlington was too exclusive. We should be getting members from D.C. and elsewhere. So I set up a working group to rebrand somebody on the working group who suggested that we should use Renaissance and uh, other members said, okay, spell it. And that was the end of that. A friend of mine recommended that I get involved with Encore Learning right after I retired. My husband and I had just moved to the area and I had been a professor of theater for a couple of years and I really wanted to teach. I signed up for a couple of courses and then a friend of mine said, you know, you know a lot about parks, why don't you uh, teach a course? And so I wrote a course proposal and I started teaching and just loved it. I've been at Encore since 2014. I started with Encore because uh, I wanted to take one of the courses that was offered called Writing a Memoir. And I thought I would get into writing at the time. And so I did. I joined Encore Learning shortly after I retired. When I retired, my brain didn't retire. So what I love about Encore Learning is that my brain keeps on going and going and going. Today's seniors are not the seniors when I was young. If I met somebody 60 years old back in 1970, they were old. So today, people are a little bit more, I guess, hip. 
A lot of our seniors are online. They have smartphones and they're still relevant young here. I joined Encore Learning in uh, 2015. When I joined it, I learned that they were looking for instructors. Somebody said, why don't you teach a course based on your career? It's a very dynamic group. It's a, it's, it's a very positive experience uh, for I think everybody involved. I found that the love of Encore Learning keeps me going through even difficult times. I find it important. I've picked really good enhancing courses, um, enriching courses. We are so fortunate to have fabulous instructors. We have at least 35 instructors every semester and we have a volunteer committee, the Academic Programs Committee, that goes out and recruits instructors. I've gotten a lot out of uh, Encore Learning both as a student and as a lecturer. It's fun talking to adults <laughs> because uh, we've all been through a lot together and you say something like, well, I, I ran across the street and, and jumped into a phone booth to make a phone call. You don't have to go back and explain that there were phone booths and what a phone booth is. Most of my life has been teaching younger people and uh, with about 20 plus years of teaching at the college level, undergraduates, I love that period. Now I'm loving teaching the 70 year olds. They are smart. We just completed a, a hike here for two and a half to almost three miles and uh, they were all hanging in there. I'm a born teacher. I've been a teacher all my life. I've taught in public schools. I teach at George Mason now and teaching at Encore Learning just fills up my heart. I have basic training in molecular biology. That's what my PhD is in. And I'm a physician and a medical researcher. And although I'm not specifically expert on um, immunology, COVID, and viruses. I have a reasonable background on that and decided with a modest amount of work I could create this as a course. My class was about African American history in Arlington and that is my specialty. It was rewarding because a lot of people don't know the history and a lot of things that happen people are learning more about it and they're excited about it and they want to know more. The personal benefits for me are that I get to do this thing that I love which is teaching, and I get to meet some really amazing people, and I get reminded that there are curious, open-minded people in the world. Encore Learning is it's, it's, it's very important because it's giving people the opportunity at a certain age to, to keep on learning, and that's the key to longevity is learning and, and understanding and participating. What we know is that people remain quicker and smarter when they remain curious. And showing up to Encore classes is a way of being curious. To me, that's a huge impact in our community. All of Encore is built on this idea that we can always keep learning, that we never reach a point in our lives where learning is over and we're just done. It brings people together. It's very hard to find different ways to come together and meet new people and do it in a space that's safe and you don't feel judged. Encore Learning gives us that space. One thing that Encore Learning has done and encouraged is the clubs. The clubs that are part of Encore Learning are really dependent on your interests. You know, whether you want to just get together and chew the fat and talk about current events, or the film group, or the travel group is very active. It's a great way to see people on a regular basis. I enjoy being part of Encore Learning um, from a couple of different facets. Um, I'm a technology guy and we get a lot of that in the hobby club. I also enjoy socializing and um, I go to breakfast club. I think that one of the activities that most surprised me was that I wanted to get up early on a Wednesday morning to join the breakfast club. I have truly enjoyed the people I've met. The clubs are fantastic. We have 10 clubs and that's another another avenue. It doesn't cost any money to, to join the club and to engage in activities there. A favorite of mine are the special events. They've been held since the early days and include lectures at the Arlington Central Library, and that's open to the public. And then we have tours at local museums for our members. Special events are an added bonus to our classes. I think one of the strengths of Encore Learning over the years has been the executive directors. We had Marjorie Varner for years. Good morning, Encore Learning. And now we have Laura. 
Laura and both of them have been just outstanding. I had actually learned about Arlington Learning and Retirement Institute years ago when I worked at the Arlington Community Foundation and I remember John Sprott coming in to the Community Foundation to talk about this exciting new organization. I was elected president shortly after after COVID hit, and um, we had to really turn on a dime, and we did it very well. March 2020 comes around, and within a week's time, we pivoted and offered virtual learning. The staff deserves enormous credit, plus uh, some volunteers. Welcome to the Encore Learning Virtual Learning Tutorial. Marty and the tech people prove that you can teach old dogs new tricks. I had taught virtual for many years and hybrid for probably over 20 years. I had experienced this, knew how to do it. The RT fell to 0.9 by March. The move to Zoom of Encore Learning has been very effective. Of those, 42 are in the spike protein. It's allowed more people to go to the courses. It's allowed people to go to courses which are almost immediately following each other. And it's allowed people to do it from home. We all became Zoom experts. We've had great participation and enthusiasm for our virtual learning programming, um, whether it be the classes or the clubs or events. I would recommend Encore Learning both to people who are interested in taking the classes, but also to people who have a passion for a specialty area in their life to be instructors, because it's just such a great environment, and particularly in this area, the wealth of experience and knowledge that the classroom brings to the learning is just incredible. I would recommend Encore Learning. The courses are very interesting. It's not the typical kind of courses that you would you know, take at a extended learning from a university. We recommend Encore Learning to all of our friends. I think the courses are exciting and interesting, and the people who are teaching them are teaching them because they're really interested this topic. It opens up a whole vista of activities and learning that you might not have thought about as a working person. It broadens one scope on life that you never would get anywhere else. Anybody that is thinking of retiring or has some spare time, join Encore Learning just because it's such a great organization. <laughs> Where would I like to see Encore Learning proceed? One of my key issues is the science and technology courses. We have a wealth of people in all the other areas. We have trouble finding people. It's an important field that is not always stressed. Encore Learning has changed, particularly with COVID. There was a dramatic shift and we re reacted to that, restoring or coming back to what was before, but we've also really embedded this whole virtual and hybrid learning concept into our curriculum. I think we'll continue to morph. I've seen both staff as well as the leadership, the volunteer leadership, being very responsive to making change and doing things that seem to be good for everybody. I don't think we made too many missteps, so I think we're on the right course. I really am going to uh, encourage an increased membership, and specifically I'm looking to increase the diversity of our membership. We, we live in such an incredibly rich area, and, and I'm suspecting that there are some people who don't really know about Encore Learning, so I think we have that before us as an opportunity, as a challenge. Encore Learning has made a significant impact in the community. Having been around for 20 years, we've reached out to thousands of individuals over the age of 50, engaging in classes, clubs and events. They're connecting with other people and increasing their knowledge, keeping their minds engaged as they age and can age in place, so it's really bringing a benefit to the county as well. We have helped our community by being there, by simply being there and being able to give back to Arlington for what Arlington has given to us. Happy 20th anniversary, Encore Learning. Happy 20th anniversary, Encore Learning. Happy anniversary, Encore Learning. Happy anniversary, Encore Learning. Happy 20th year, Encore Learning. Happy 20th anniversary, Encore Learning. Happy 20th anniversary. Happy anniversary, Encore Learning. Happy 20th anniversary. Happy